attempts in the massive sprint finishes so far in this tour of failed for Cavendish and Peter Sagan. At last, Andre Grateful waited for the 21st stage to raise his arms. The Rostock Gorilla conquered this stage win despite a strong comeback from Peter Sagan. Like last year, the Lotto Suda rider took the most prestigious sprint and at 34 years old, it's his 21st success in a Grand Tour. After 3,400 kilometers of effort, the 175 remaining riders of the Tour were taking the start of the last stage to the Champs-Élysées. From Chantilly, passing the magnificent castle, the coronation of Christopher Froome could begin. The Briton entered the club of three-time winners of the Grand Boucle with Greg Lemon and Louison Bobet. After 50 kilometers of peaceful ride, the Team Sky riders sported a special jersey to take possession of the Champs-Élysées. Little by little, the pace increased as some riders' ambition to shine on the world's most beautiful avenue. 45 kilometers to the finish, eight men decided to get away, of which three French riders. There was also Ricosta, who went to the front for the third day in a row. But the gap with the main field was limited to 25 seconds. The last time a solo rider won on the Champs-Élysées was in 2005. It was Alexander Vinokurov. This year, once again, it was not to end like this since the breakaway was caught 14 kilometers to the line. Inevitably, the bunch sprint would judge the win, however, without Brian Coca, who was second best last year on the Paris line, but punctured just 2.5 kilometers to the arrival. On the cobblestones covered at 60 kilometers per hour, Andre Grapel overpowered his rivals despite a great sprint by Peter Sagan. The German champion was delighted with his 11th success in the Tour de France. Yeah, I cannot describe it. Uh, I'm just super proud that, that uh, I worked out the last day and uh, also with the team how they believed in me uh, during the last three weeks. They always kept trying, trying, trying. We never could succeed. Uh, now we won two stages with Thomas de Gend and me on the Champs-Élysées. Cannot be a better place than here. Second German victory in this tour after Marcel Kittel's in Limoges. For the eighth time in three weeks, Peter Sagan concludes a stage on the podium. Cycling history will remember that Christopher Froome finished this tour with almost three minutes of advantage over his runner-up after he crossed the line in the rear with his teammates. Uma Bardet, first runner-up, and the top five are within a minute. Fourth of the GC, Adam Yates sports the best young rider's white jersey. At 23 years old, the British rider has bloomed in this tour. On top of the climbers classification, Rafael Maika clinches his second Falcon jersey after 2014, and Peter Sagan continues his winning streak at the points classification. The Slovak wears green for the fifth year on the Champs Elysees. Paris is the superb setting of the Tour de France final stage. There are dozens of memories from this 103rd edition, but let's turn our gaze to the future, and next step is the Tour of Spain in less than a month.